shoot. Hi, I'm the Morlander and this is Morlander EDC. Now, a piece of content a while back got me thinking, and that was um it wasn't this one actually, it was the it was a copper version of this. So these are the screwdriver bits. This is one of the titanium Damascus versions from Good Screw, and these are absolutely beautiful. A few comments said that, and I think quite rightly, I I'm, I'm very lucky sometimes when I think the amount of things that get sent to me that, I mean, personally myself, I certainly wouldn't be able to afford to buy. Uh, and people mentioned about similar solutions that just don't cost as much as these. Now these are absolutely amazing and I'll leave some links, whichever side the links go so that you can see more from them. But roughly around about the same time, I've done a few pieces of content now with Hoto Design or Hoto Tools, sorry, um, and they happen to email at the same time and say, you know, we, we really like the content that you're making, we, we like your honesty and that sort of stuff, and you know, is there anything else that you'd like to try? And then I remembered something that was on their website, and that is the 24-in-1 precision screwdriver. So this is a very similar thing. It's, it's designed to be held in your hand, which, you know, we'll have a look at in a moment, but it's definitely more affordable and wallet friendly as such. It's actually a little bit easier to carry about your person if, if you want to use this for EDC. So what I'll do is, as we always do, I'll turn the camera around so that we can take a closer look. Um, whilst I'm doing that, if at any point today you do enjoy this content, then please feel free to hit that like, subscribe and share. If you do do that, I'd, I'd certainly like to thank you at this point. Um, it's the correct and polite thing for me to do, so thank you. I really appreciate it. But for now, let's take a closer look at the Hoto Tools 24-in-1 precision screwdriver. So here we have the precision 24-in-1 screwdriver now. Um, I think because this is black, it's quite bright out today, it, it tries to keep going out of focus on this. So I'm trying to see if I can keep my thumb in focus, which will hopefully mean that this will this will always stay in focus. Now, uh, as we usually do, we'll go through some measurements, some materials, and then we'll have a look at um, this itself. So as far as measurements are concerned, uh, it comes in at roughly 120 millimeters. Um, the radius of it comes in at roughly about 15 millimeters. Uh, in old money, that is four and three quarters of an inch. And then the diameter is roughly five eighths of an inch. Um, it's constructed from aluminium, but it's actually got a really nice weight to it. Um, the, the, the actual bit drivers are all cased within this body on the inside, and they're made from, uh, made from iron, so, you know, uh, steel. They've, so they've got a good weight to them, which I think adds to the weight of the overall thing. The main body here uh, and the tip here at the end is, also, is, is constructed from the aluminium. Now, it genuinely feels and it looks like it looks like a screwdriver no, it, I mean it is a screwdriver it actually looks like a pen um, the, the closest thing and, and, and I think this is what I, I quite like about this so this is uh, this is one of the um, the I always say this wrong is it Quarko uh, sport pens so this is this is a small uh, extendable ballpoint pen. They look so familiar. To have these together in an EDC really does look very cool with the two of them. It almost looks as if this should have like a sharpie insert to it that you turn around to uh, to to get it out. But although it looks like a pen, this is um, this is definitely a screwdriver. So here on the end, there is a, ma a small magnet in there so that when they slot into there, um, it, it, it holds it in place. And then on the end here, there is uh, a, an end with a bearing in it so that this, this completely freely flows. Now, with some of the other ones that you find with these, the, the ends or the, 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 the rotatable heads, there's a lot more movement. Now, let me say that right. There's still just as much movement in here, but with the other ones, the other ones are super fidget friendly and you can spin them. Now you can do it with this. Hopefully you can see that's, that's, that's still spinning. Um, but it's it's more like, it's probably more akin to, if, if you've ever used like a fluid head um, 
on on some sort of machinery that, that 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 nice fluid head that you get that's very smooth it's probably more similar to that so it's less fidgety but i think in a way i, I think it actually suits the pen for it to have that more of kind of a, a fluid feel to it uh, round the outside hopefully you can see as i turn this round uh, you can see that there is very similar to a pencil a, a pen. I'm not too sure. There's, pro there's probably about 20 different sides to it. Uh, it has a really nice effect. It also really helps as well when, when, when you're holding this too. And then here towards the end, you can see it says designed by Hoto. Now there are a few different colors that you can get with this. This hopefully, as you can see, is the black. Um, but I'll leave a link here so that you can see you can see the other colors that are available. To get to the screwdriver bits, you just simply pull the end out here. So there is the magnet that is in here that holds the driver bits into place, also magnetizes against the end here. So as this goes in, hopefully when you'll see, it, it just kind of sucks that in there. And it, it's, it's got a good bit of retention. Now I have tried this with a universal kind of shake test. If you shake it really hard, you can get enough momentum to be able to pop this out but I've thrown this onto my bed, I've thrown this onto the sofa, I've thrown this around the room, it's never popped out. Certainly in the time that I've had it in my pocket and I've been throwing my bag around, it's certainly never come out uh, and I haven't had any issues with it. Now when this comes out, hopefully you'll be able to see here that there are six heads here, or there are six bits here, there are six bits here as well, and then each of the bits, so I think the postman might have just come to the door and the dogs have bolted, um, have two ends to each of these as well, so you've got 24 in total. These are the smaller bits, so rather than what are the other ones? Are the other ones eighth of an inch? Um, these these are definitely a lot smaller than those. Now I have, if I just put this to one side, if you can remember when to do this, this was probably the last one that I did that Hoto uh, light and you know that's also kind of off the back of this one. So this, this is their electric screwdriver set, the little precision one with the forwards and backwards. This also uses the small um, the small screwdriver bit heads. Um, so if it is that you're using one of these, you can put it into this, hand untighten it or hand tighten it if you're doing it the opposite way, take the bit out of here, drop it into there, and then you can use the rest of it um, with, with, the, with the electric um, option there. Um, but all of these, they're also magnetically held into place. So they do come out quite easily. There isn't actually um, like a, um, would you call it like a friction kind of pinch? There, there, there isn't something that you, you push it in and, and it grips from either side. Um, these are all magnetically held into place so that if you want to take them out, you can quite easily take them out. There's absolutely no issues there. When you put it in, again, you know, you can, you can really shake this. If, if I spin this, in fact, I'll, I'll bring it closer to the microphone, but you can actually hear um, you can hear the screwdriver bits on the inside. Now they're actually coming separate from the uh, the rotational force there. They're actually coming loose, but because they're all so tightly packed in there and the magnets, it all just puts them back into place. Now, as far as the different bits that we have on here, and this is hopefully where I'll, I'll really impress you with my technical knowledge of, um, of, of screwdriver bits. So we, we have the T's, which I, uh, I think is Torx. So there's a two, three, four, I know I'm going the wrong way, where are they? Did I have them in the wrong way? Well, there's a two, there's a three. I think I've just moved one round that I was messing with it earlier. Uh, there is a four, a three, uh, six, eight, nine, and ten. There's also some of uh, the H's. There's an H two O and there's an H one five. There you go. Um, what else have we got in here? We've got some Phillips heads. Uh, we've got some flat heads, and then we've got some of these um, quite bizarre ones. But I guess if you're into taking things apart then you know, you'll know you know exactly what these are. And then there's some of the triangular ones. Are they called, where are they now? Is it these? These are a TW1 or a triangle 2.3. 
So there's there's plenty of options, uh, and I think if you're into precision screwdrivers like this and you have your own bits, then you could quite easily take these out and put your own bits in here. The only difference with these is because that you get a bit on each end, it just means that, um, well, you've got 24 bits in here because it, each bit is, is actually two, um, two heads. Um, all of these that are in this one as well. Let's say I did want to take some of these out and put them into here. I could certainly do that as well. But again, because each of these is a single head, it would just mean that that would take up the place, that would take up the place of one. Now, I happen to bring out, what's this one? I think this is a four, is it a four? It might be a four or a six. Let's see if it is. There we go. So, how these work if you've if you've not worked this out already so this the end here that rotates you can quite easily uh, position this in your hand so that you can that you're always being able to uh, to to be able to hold this whilst it's screwing uh, so you can you can get that so that it locks in and then you can you can unfasten your screws as well the same here on this side and then yes so for things like knife maintenance uh, lots of other activities you can do. Now, hopefully you saw there as well, so the, the, the magnet that's in here is strong enough so that if you do take out any of these screws, especially if they're steel or iron screws, then it will make sure that they will all um, magnetize to it rather than dropping off. I've got to say, I really do like this. I think, I think as far as a, a, a budget-friendly, small pocketable tool, this does an exceptionally good job of that. Um, and yeah, this is this was thrown into my bag straight away and it, it's been carried around with me ever since. Now, I think if you're in the market for an easily pocketable solution for you to be able to do little bits of maintenance on your knife, or it, it may, maybe you wear a pair of glasses, so many little things that it's useful to have a small screwdriver like this. The fact that looking at the other electric version that you know, all of the bits are compatible so that you can use this really to get that hand tight or you can you can help to loosen things and you can go between the two. I think this is really good and I think the value for money that you get from this is also really good as well. Now, full disclosure, this was sent to me free of charge, but, you know, it, I always have exactly the same conversation when things are sent to me. And that is that everything that I say today, I'll try and just stick to the facts, but... As far as opinions, everything that was given today is completely my opinion. Certainly no money or anything like that I wasn't paid to review this favourably. This really was just off the back of a few of the comments that were made when we looked at one of the uh, the good screw screwdrivers that just made me think, yeah, okay, let's see if we can find something that's a little bit more suitable for everybody. Um, and I really think this is a great solution for that. Um, I've actually been carrying this a lot. Um, as soon as I got this, it went straight into my EDC and I've been carrying this in my tech bag. Just having, knowing that you've got something makes you want to use it more. So there's more little jobs that I've been doing whilst in the studio and around the house and that sort of stuff that I've been able to do straight away with this. It's, it's just, yeah, it's just slotted into my EDC straight away. Now what I'll do is I'll leave some links in the description below so that you can see more from Hoto Tools uh, and you can see where you can pick one of these up as well. There'll also be some of my social media links in there if you want to follow me on Instagram. It's generally where I tend to be a little bit more on Instagram than I am anywhere else. Um, and yeah, for now, stay safe, stay Moorlander and stay EDC. So this is the 24-in-1 screwdriver. Um, I also got the boys. Dog in, dog, no, not dog in, definitely not dog in. Stanley, what are you doing? Stan? Oh yeah. Shoot, hi. <clears throat> Very bright today, very bright. Hopefully you can see my face. I'm sure you can see my face. Just see me squinting a lot. <laughs>